The way people judge your work speaks louder than their words, but in the end, their opinions won't matter. Only your final edit will. Hi everyone, today we will create a visually appealing reel which I found on Instagram. So first, let's keep it aside, okay? Extract the audio, okay? Keep it here for our reference. The way people judge your Okay, now I'll hit V, okay, to enable this and bring my background. So you know how to create a background, okay? Just bring a default text, Windows plus dot key, select this square, okay, make it big, okay, and then change the color, white to this, okay, just select the color tool, okay, and pick with this color, okay, just go here and select this color, okay, you'll get this, okay, now we have got the background, I will cut it from here, okay. So in the starting, okay, let's see, he says the way people judge your work. So I'll tell you this font. Okay, let me just first bring the text. Okay, I've already written it, so not to waste time. The way people judge your works. The way people judge your works. Okay, so now it's matching our, you know, text. So as you can see, okay, the way people judge your work. So the way this and yeah so the small text okay the small ones are written with the font gallery g-a-l-l-e-r-y and the big text bold text is written by the font arape a-r-a-p-e-y okay so i have written both the text okay now what we can do is this animation so first you have to you know bring a default text Windows plus dot key, select this square. Okay, I'll just bring this. Okay, so I can match the size of the square also. Make it bigger. Okay, and then I will deselect uniform scale and increase the height. Okay, this is close. Okay. Now what we have to do is just change the color by selecting this color picker tool and doing this. Okay. Yeah. So we have put it here. Okay. Now after this, okay, what we have to do is bring, just bring our eyeball. Okay. Place it here and you know, we can just make it small. Okay. We can head on to basic mask, add mask split and you know, turn it like this and give some fading, okay. Yeah, now it's okay. So it will start here and when it tells support or something like that, it will look up. The way people judge your work speaks louder than their words. I'll put a marker, okay, in the scene, over here, okay, I'll press M and put a marker here, so I'll remember here the scene will look up. So let's start, by first, first we will animate it, so click on this and, you know, just deselect this uniform scale, click on the height, decrease it to zero, select this, deselect uniform scale click on the height decrease it to zero okay and then go ahead click on you know height again and here also click on height again and increase it back to normal okay so now I'll hit all plus K and smoothen this out the way people judge now i'll just bring them closer as the animation is delayed and then i will make it a compound clip okay 
first I go inside the compound clip and bring it the starting from here and delay this okay and then I will hit video transform and blend go ahead here transform and blend go to the first keyframe drag this out decrease the opacity to zero so it will come something like this hit or plus k and then hmm, select cubic out the way people judge the way people judge the way people judge okay so from here i'll just you know go inside the compound clip just see the timing so we'll start looking up from 1 6 around okay i'll just go to 1 6 here okay hit just uniform scale and enable it again hit transform go ahead and just turn this up like this okay now I'll hit Alt plus K. The way people judge your work speaks loud. Judge your work speak. Okay. So as soon as this goes like this, just yes, select the whole scene. Okay. Select everything except the background. Okay. Let me just deselect this. Yeah. Hit Alt plus G. Okay. And then transform. Go ahead. And bring this down. Everything. Hit Alt plus K. And then. No. It speaks louder than their work. Speaks louder than their the way people judge your work speaks louder than now made the text for a second also so i'll just bring the text okay so this part okay how i made this part text you can make it's very easy this part what i did words is written okay let me show you if i remove this r is there okay so what I did was while writing words, I increased the character space. Okay. The more you increase, the more, you know, gapping will be there. Okay. So, and this one, how I made, I went to default text. Okay. How I, you know, bring the circle, like I just, you know, the way it windows plus dot key and this, I brought this circle first, put it here. Then I brought this. Okay. Remember second time we have to bring this and then put it here and here and last what you have to do is just you know press the underscore key for this line okay so you know you will get this line sort of thing and just turn it and put it here and make it small okay so like that i arranged many lines and then you have to just select the color with the color pick color tool and then it's done okay and then i selected all these assets and made it a compound clip now what you have to do, I'll just bring this in, okay? So it comes in and zooms in, okay? So first, it will come in and just select everything, make another compound clip. Go here, Windows, sorry, just hit transform key, go ahead, hit transform another key. Let's hear the audio. I'll hit Alt plus K and then we have not been the animation so I'll just go to the first scene and bring it up okay now I'll hit Alt plus K and smoothen it out the way people judge your work speaks louder than it's coming too fast so let's change this animation to QV now again compound clip yeah so when it comes down just you know from here hit again transform go ahead and 
just scale this a bit okay work speaks louder than their words but it so let us see when it all words okay so this animation is there we can just go inside the compound clip okay and select everything okay and then you can just you know cut from here and go to animation and fade in cut it cut the start let's see if the timing is right or not yeah it's right but yeah r is there okay so what we can do is when it comes down i'll just go inside the compound clip again and bring the text here let yeah now it looks good the way people judge your work speaks louder than their words okay so after this this scene again has come okay just bring your eyes and you know what you can do is just go to media bring your eye put it like this okay and what he has done for this shadow is okay just copy this put it behind okay, and the below layer keep it like this add on to adjust okay curves bring down the curve and then effects search for blur okay and bring it here in case the blur okay so you have got that effect just compound clip it and whatever animation you have to do you know no animation is there it's just stable and just text is there okay nothing else okay and this now glitch okay so this glitch transition what you can do is let me show here just cut here go to transition okay yeah glitch you can see here just select any of from here let's say color glitch just put it here and you will get that glitch okay this another glitch is there okay so okay you can select anything and put it okay then at last you have to just write the text okay with that the animation is done but wait but just wait okay what you have to do is as you can see the scene has this crunch effect let me show you yeah this dotted effect okay so for that what we can do is just head on to effects let me just delete this and head on to texture yeah then bring in dot sil screen and put it just over the whole clip okay now you have got it now let me just adjust it when select any color this color is looking nice okay select this okay and you know we have got that effect okay so it's that simple so now whoever was not following just head on to your cap cut and make this okay see you in the next video